New at six, there's been a controversy brewing in Westerly lately, and it comes after the town manager appointed a new police chief. The police union has made it known who they support. And today, Steve Nielsen sat down with the new chief who explains how he's dealing with the situation. Steve? Well, Shannon, this got so tense, the Westerly Sun reported that some members of the Honor Guard refused to be a part of the swearing in of the new police chief. So I sat down with the new chief, Richard Silva, who previously was the head of West Warwick Police, to see if it's having any impact in his department. As a late fall breeze blows through Westerly, the town at the southwest tip of Rhode Island welcomes in a new police chief. It's my second day and everything is going really well. Chief Richard Silva just began his tenure this week. And before he was even sworn in, controversy erupted. The police union, which lobbied hard for an inside hire, says the town manager's hiring process should be investigated. Saying in a statement, the union has no confidence in the integrity of the selection process utilized by town manager Derek Kennedy to select the replacement of Chief Edward St. Clair. The only reasonable course of action to restore integrity and transparency into this entire situation is to postpone the appointment of the chief of police until an investigation is completed. Silva brushed that off. I mean, it really hasn't had any effect. I mean, I, I don't, you know, you see things that are reported. Uh, it wouldn't, you know, probably wouldn't be appropriate or responsible to respond to, you know, the media reports of, of any controversies. So the officers here are welcoming and uh, haven't been an issue for you at all? There's been, been no issues. We reached out to the town manager but did not hear back. Silva said he was interviewed on four different occasions by several people and looks forward to this new challenge. I'm Steve Nielsen, Eyewitness News.